Just hearing the word money can bring up a variety of emotions. For some, it sparks ambition and excitement, for others, it brings stress, anxiety, or even dread. But no matter what feelings it may evoke, one fact remains clear money is a crucial part of our lives. Understanding how money works isn't solely about becoming wealthy, it's about gaining control over your life, finding peace, and unlocking new opportunities. In this video, I'll break down the key principles of managing money in a way that's both understandable and relatable, so you can start applying them today. Rule 1. Spend less than you earn. This might seem obvious, but many struggle with it. The first and most vital rule of money is straightforward, spend less than you earn. If you continually spend beyond your income, you're creating a financial trap that's hard to escape. Think of it like building a house on sand no matter how grand it looks, it will eventually fall apart. The same applies to your finances, spending more than you make leads to instability and eventual collapse. Adhering to this rule is challenging in a world full of temptations. With ads enticing us to buy and social media showcasing lifestyles that seem desirable, but this starts with identifying what truly matters to you, whether it's the fleeting thrill of a new purchase or the lasting security of financial stability. It's not about deprivation, but about making intentional choices. Every dollar saved from unnecessary spending is one that can contribute to something meaningful, like paying off debt, saving, or investing in your future. Rule 2. Pay yourself first. This rule sounds simple but is often overlooked. Paying yourself first means setting aside a portion of your income for savings or investments before paying bills or making purchases. Think of it like this, you are your most important expense. Just as you wouldn't skip paying your rent, you shouldn't skip paying yourself. By prioritizing savings, you ensure that you have funds for tough times or to invest in your future. This could mean setting up an automatic transfer from your paycheck into a savings account as soon as you're paid. Start small if needed 5 or 10% of your income and increase as possible. This consistent habit will build a financial cushion that brings peace of mind and the freedom to pursue bigger financial goals. Rule 3. Avoid bad debt and use good debt wisely. Debt can be a double-edged sword. Some say all debt is harmful, while others find it helpful in building wealth. Both perspectives are valid because debt comes into forms, good and bad. Bad debt, like high-interest credit cards or payday loans, weighs you down. The interest accumulates quickly, making it more expensive over time. Good debt, on the other hand, such as a mortgage, can potentially increase your wealth or improve your quality of life. However, even good debt should be handled with caution. In short, avoid bad debt as much as possible, and if you must take on good debt, ensure it will benefit you and that you can manage the repayments. Rule 4. Plan for the unexpected life is unpredictable one day everything's fine, and the next, you have an unexpected expense or a job loss. This is where an emergency fund becomes essential, it's like a financial safety net, there to catch you when life throws a curveball. Think of it as insurance for your finances, ideally, you should have 3 to 6 months of living expenses in your emergency fund. Although that may seem like a lot, remember that this fund can keep you from financial ruin in an emergency. Start small if needed, with $500 or $1,000, and build from there. The peace of mind you'll gain from knowing you have this safety cushion is priceless. And it prevents you from taking on debt in unexpected situations. Rule 5. Invest in your future saving is essential, but to build real wealth, you need to invest. Investing is like planting a tree the sooner you start, the more it can grow. The earlier you begin, the more time your money has to benefit from compounding interest. Whether you choose index funds, the stock market, real estate, or retirement accounts like a 401k or IRA, the key is to start early and remain consistent. Don't worry if you can only invest a little at first, even small amounts can grow substantially over time if you remain committed. Rule 6. Recognize the power of compound interest. We've all heard of compound interest, but do we really understand its power? Compound interest is when your initial investment earns interest, and then that interest earns interest, and so on. Imagine a snowball rolling downhill, picking up more snow and growing larger. It's the same with compound interest. The longer you let your money grow, the more powerful compounding becomes, ultimately helping you build wealth over time. Rule 7. Avoid trying to time the market One of the biggest mistakes investors make is attempting to time the market buying low and selling high. The truth is, predicting market movements is extremely challenging, even for experts. Think of the market like the weather, it's unpredictable. Instead of trying to time the market, focus on time in the market. 
The longer you invest, the better your chances of seeing positive returns. Consistently investing over time allows you to benefit from the market's long-term upward trend without worrying about short-term fluctuations. Rule 8. Understand Assets vs Liabilities If you want to master your finances, it's essential to know the difference between assets and liabilities. An asset is something that brings in money, while a liability takes money out. Assets are like financial soldiers working for you, such as investments, rental properties, or side businesses. Liabilities, on the other hand, drain your finances without any return, such as car payments, credit card debt, or even a mortgage that doesn't build wealth. Aim to acquire more assets while reducing liabilities, so you're less dependent on a paycheck. Rule 9. Live below your means while finding joy. This rule is about balance living within your means without sacrificing happiness. It's not about extreme frugality but about spending in alignment with your values. Imagine your financial life as a tightrope walk, with overspending on one side and excessive frugality on the other. The goal is to spend on things that bring true happiness while saving and investing for the future. Living below your means doesn't mean never enjoying yourself, it means making intentional choices that enhance your life instead of burdening it. Rule 10. Never stop learning about money. Money, like any other skill, requires ongoing learning and practice. Financial knowledge is constantly evolving, with new investment opportunities, changes in tax laws, and economic shifts. Keeping up with these changes makes managing your finances easier and more effective. This rule isn't only about reading books or taking courses, but fostering a mindset of curiosity and growth. The more you learn, the more empowered you are to make informed financial decisions, and the less intimidating money becomes. Knowledge dispels fear, bringing you confidence to invest and manage finances skillfully in a constantly changing world. Rule 11 Don't rely solely on one income stream. In today's economic landscape, depending on a single income source can be risky. Diversifying your income streams is essential. It's like building a financial house with multiple supporting pillars. If one pillar fails, your house can still stand strong. This rule is about security and freedom. Multiple income sources enable you not only to survive but to thrive. It allows you the freedom to take risks, explore new opportunities, and say no to things that don't align with your values. Diversification doesn't mean starting several businesses overnight. It can be as straightforward as investing in an index fund that provides interest or annual dividends. The goal is to create additional income sources to support you if one stream dries up. Rule 12. Understand the psychology of money. Money's psychology is a powerful, often overlooked element in financial success. How you think and feel about money greatly impacts your financial choices and overall success. This rule is about becoming conscious of your money mindset and recognizing how it shapes your behaviors. Reflect on your earliest memories of money were they positive or negative? Did you grow up in an environment where money was a stressor or was managed wisely and openly discussed? These early experiences deeply influence our views on money. For some, money represents security. For others, it might symbolize freedom, power, or even fear. Understanding your personal money mindset can reveal patterns that may be holding you back. If you view money as scarce, you might lean toward fear-driven decisions like hoarding or avoiding investments. But if you see money as a tool for growth, you're more likely to take calculated risks and seize opportunities to build wealth. By recognizing your money psychology, you can make more informed decisions that align with your long-term goals. Rule 13. Be mindful of taxes. Taxes can significantly impact your earnings and investments, so keeping taxes in mind when making financial decisions is crucial. Think of taxes as a toll on a highway. Every time you earn or sell an investment, you pay a toll to the government. But just as you can plan your route to avoid high tolls, you can manage your finances to reduce your tax burden. This could mean using tax-advantaged accounts like a 401k or IRA, taking advantage of deductions and credits, or timing investments to lower capital gains taxes. Being tax-conscious allows you to retain more of your hard-earned income. Rule 14 Focus on net worth, not just income. While income is important, it's not the only measure of financial health. Net worth The difference between what you own and what you owe provides a more complete picture of your financial well-being. Think of it like building a house, your income might be the bricks, but your net worth is the entire structure. You could have all the bricks in the world, but if you're not constructing wisely, you won't end up with a sturdy house. 
Focus on growing your net worth by saving, investing, and paying down debt to get a clearer view of your financial progress. Rule 15 Make your money work for you. The ultimate goal of mastering these financial principles is to make your money generate income on its own, giving you financial freedom. Think of your money as a team of workers. At first, you're the only one working for every dollar, but as your wealth grows, you can employ more workers through investments, savings, and sound financial decisions that help grow your wealth even when you're not actively working. Aim for passive income streams, where your money earns more money, like dividends, rental income, or savings interest. When your money works for you, you're not just working for a paycheck but creating an income-generating system. Rule 16 Set Clear Financial Goals Without specific goals, managing money is like sailing without a destination. You might end up somewhere, but is it where you wanted to go? Setting clear financial goals provides direction and purpose for your journey, helping you focus and make decisions that align with where you want to be. Goals can range from short-term, like saving for a vacation, to long-term, like retirement planning. Make goals smart, specific, measurable, achievable, relevant, and time-bound. For example, rather than saying, I want to save more, set a smart goal like, I want to save $10,000 for a home down payment within two years. Goals give motivation and accountability, helping you stay committed to your financial plan and build momentum for future goals. Rule 17, understand risk and reward. In finance, risk and reward are closely linked. The higher the potential reward, the higher the risk. Grasping this principle is crucial for creating a balanced portfolio that matches your risk tolerance and financial goals. Visualize investing as a seesaw. One side holds risk and the other reward. Adding more to one side such as risk increases the potential reward but could also tip the balance entirely. Find the right balance for your goals and comfort level. Beginners might start with low risk investments and increase risk as they gain experience. Diversifying assets can also help manage risk by balancing responses to market changes. Rule 18 Automate Your Finances Automation is an effective way to stay on top of your financial goals by ensuring that savings, investments, and bill payments happen regularly without requiring your constant attention. Think of it as setting up a machine to handle your chores saving you time and ensuring consistency. Automating tasks like transferring funds to savings or investment accounts removes the temptation to skip contributions and reduces the risk of late payments. It also aligns with the pay yourself first principle, setting aside money before you spend. Rule 19 Track your spending and income. Automation is helpful, but keeping track of spending and income is equally important for maintaining financial health. It's easy to overspend or miss saving and investment opportunities without understanding where your money goes. Tracking provides awareness and control, enabling you to identify unnecessary expenses and make adjustments to align with your goals. Numerous budgeting apps make tracking easier, allowing you to monitor your finances in real time. By regularly checking in on your finances, you empower yourself to make choices that support your financial well-being. Rule 20 Stay Disciplined Discipline is the cornerstone of financial success. Creating a plan is easy when motivation is high, but the true test is sticking to it through challenges. Discipline in managing finances means making wise, consistent choices even when it's tough. Think of it as a muscle, the more you use it, the stronger it becomes. Staying disciplined doesn't mean you can't have fun, but it means making decisions aligned with your long-term goals. Each financial choice today either brings you closer to or further from your goals. Rule 21, adapt to change. The financial landscape is always evolving, and so does life itself. Being adaptable is key to long-term success. This means adjusting your strategies as needed, whether it's re-evaluating investments, budgeting, or exploring new income streams. Think of it as navigating through a storm. You can't control the weather, but you can adjust your sails. Being adaptable ensures you're ready to handle changes in your financial journey. Rule 22 Be generous, but smart. Giving back is a fulfilling part of financial success, but generosity should align with your financial goals. Think of it as planting seeds you want to plant where your contributions can flourish and make a difference. Donate to causes that resonate with you or support loved ones in need, but be mindful of maintaining your financial stability. Thoughtful generosity enables a greater, longer-lasting impact. Rule 23. Seek professional advice when needed. Financial management can be complex, and there are times when seeking help is beneficial. Professionals like financial advisors, tax experts, or investment specialists can provide valuable insights. 
similar to building a custom home where an architect and contractor bring your vision to life. Financial experts offer guidance to help you make informed decisions and avoid costly mistakes. Choose advisors with relevant expertise and a good track record who understand your goals and offer personalized advice. Rule 24. Cultivate a Wealth Mindset A wealth mindset supports long-term financial success. This mindset involves viewing money as a tool rather than a source of stress and seeing opportunities instead of obstacles. Think of it as the lens through which you see the world. A wealth mindset helps you approach financial challenges positively, encouraging learning, growth, and adaptability. Surround yourself with positive influences, learn about personal finance, and celebrate your progress as you work toward your financial goals. Rule 25. Recognize competition as a reality in life and finance. Competition is inevitable in the pursuit of jobs, promotions, or business opportunities. Embracing competition as a driving force to improve, rather than fearing it, can be powerful. See it as motivation to grow and innovate. In life, everyone's running their own race. Stay focused on your own goals and use competition as inspiration rather than discouragement.